What a good catch. All the work that Cameron Akbal has done pays off, as does the consistent line from this man, Mohammed Asif, who Imran Khan rates as the brightest fast bowling talent in Pakistan since Waka Yunus and Wazim Akram. This is really good cricket. Again, committing Strauss to play at the ball, enough movement and an excellent sprawling catch. Joy on the face of Pakistan, who sent something here. Maybe it's uh, English blood. Strauss has gone for 38, it's 54 for two. Jaffa, you wouldn't be blaming Kevin Peterson, that moved so late and was the perfect length, again committing him to play. This guy can really bowl. In Mohamed Asif, Pakistan have something special. This is why Inzaman wanted to bowl first. Oh, look at that. You might say that Peterson should have looked to defend, but in the end, he's undone by real skill. Plenty of pace too. Might have bowled him, you know, on another day. What exciting moments these are for Pakistan. Nothing for Peterson, a first baller. 54 for three, England. Oh, that's so close to LBW. It is LBW. Wonderful fast bowling. We are really seeing the value of pitching the ball up. It's a lesson that anybody who can propel it quick should learn, and it's one that Mohamed Asif has learnt young. Paul Collingwood is the man who's gone now. The Pakistan huddle is the most joyous of the summer so far. That, I'm afraid, is stone dead. No argument from anybody, least of all, I suspect, Paul Collingwood. And England's dressing room is a sombre place. Conditions here ideal for bowling. Collingwood made five, it's 64 for four. Well bowled, beautifully bowled, just left him off the scene and uh, he couldn't help himself, Matthew Hogger, just a tentative little poke at it as he followed the ball. Thoroughly deserved it, he can make the ball go both ways, this guy, that's what makes him a classy act. Look at it, just goes away off the seam, follows it, simple catch behind. Didn't last long, Matthew Hoggard, gone for three, caught behind off Asif, 163 for eight.